right, fifth grade, let's work on part two of our candies, creating our candy store. You should have a candy store like layout that looks something like this, or your candy store plans. And we're gonna work on part two, which is stocking your candy store. So we're gonna choose one type of candy at a time. Use the display dimensions to graph the display in your store. Add as many different types of candy as you can fit in your store, but don't forget to leave room for customers. So you need to leave, I would say about two feet. So two feet is about, that's about the size of a doorway. Two feet about the size of a doorway. So two squares between each candy store or candy dimensions or wherever you want to have people walk. So keep that in mind. Where are people going to be walking? Leave two feet or two squares for that. So remember, one foot means one square. One square foot is one square. The word display means to show or an exhibit. So a candy display or display, when we're talking about it in like the idea of a store or a shop, um, is like something like this. Like where do they put, what do they put the things on? Kind of like the rack. So we need, you have all of these different candies to pick from. You have like three pages of candies. And you've noticed we've crossed out the last two parts. We don't need these last two columns just yet. You only need the candy type and the display dimensions. So you need to pick the types of candies you want. And then you need to plan where you're going to put them on your store or on your layout. So width by length, so how long you have to use these dimensions. You can use more than one. So you really like cookies and cream chocolate bar. Put more than one display out to make some sort of store. So let's see. Hmm. Miss Sharp wants to put a chocolate candy bar display. So the width is one and a half feet by four feet. So I'm gonna go to my store. And I need to start to envision it. I need to envision my sugar shack. And you know, I'm gonna do like rows. Eh, I think I'm gonna do it like all around. I wanna do little candy displays all around the store. So I'm going to do it right here. So it's gonna be one, and a half wide by four long. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna create a little box, make sure it's nice and straight. I'm going to label chocolate candy bar. Chocolate candy bar, okay. And then I'm gonna keep going. Now you can do rows, you can do all over. You can make it look like, at, like whatever you want. If you don't know what you should do, Google can or store displays or store plans. So let's take a look. After adding the candy displays and other objects or areas, label everything, then color and decorate. So as you go, label chocolate candy bar. If not, you're going to have a bunch of different squares all over. And you're going to have no idea what it looks like. In the end, you are going to have something that looks like this. Okay. Here's a taffy counter. Ooh, a children's play area. So you can do play areas. You can do, like, a, you want to put a little restaurant area in. Like Miss Sharp did. Oh, she didn't label it. But I'm going to do a sitting area, right? Here's my sitting area. So put other areas in that you would like to see it. this sugar shack or your candy store. This checkout is an L shape. So all different things. So we have the rows of candy. So if the taffy counter took up six feet by eight feet, then this is how it'd be shown. So that's how it's shown right there. So use different elements. In the end, this is what it's going to look like. So take your time, label everything out, then you need to color it or make it look decorative. If you don't have coloring utensils, we will give you time on Tuesday morning to do it, but 
please try to do this before. This is the fun part, designing it, okay? Take your time, think about where are people walking? How much do you want it to be crowded? Do you want it to be spacious? When you're done, I, you can move on to your next task. I can't wait to see all of these awesome candy stores tomorrow. Don't make it look like my scarf so far. Add more candy to it. You want to make it look full and beautiful. Okay, any questions? Please email us, but remember, we most likely cannot email you back.